Well, let's talk about imagination and emotion. Hey, I'm Melissa with The Simple Life Wife, and I wanted to just talk briefly about something I've been thinking about lately and how it affects healing. So I've been doing a brain retraining program, and you'll see that I have visualizations on my, um, I have a guided playlist. You can go hear the, gui the guided visualizations if you want to. And um, lately I've been changing how I've actually been doing my visualizations. And so the idea is that you're putting your mind in a happy spot so that you can release the happy hormones, the good hormones, which actually are healing hormones. And over time, say a year or so, your body will actually heal. No matter what it is, your body will begin to heal. Um, well, over that time, your body is healing. Um, and something I've been learning is that the stress hormones, the bad ones, well, I, let's not call them bad because they have their place, like cortisol and all that, but you don't want them to continuously be on. Um, Anyway, those actually are disease inflicting hormones if left on. And when you're in fight, flight, or freeze, that's basically you have a constant rush of these stress hormones. And if you are literally about to die and need to run from a tiger, that's fine, but it needs to shut off. And so you don't want to get stuck in it because it will cause disease because it, okay, I'm not going to go into all that here. So I've really been focused on turning on the good hormones and a good, uh, one of the big ways of doing that is I try to spend about an hour a day broken up <clears throat> in about 15, 20 minute increments or more uh, visualizing. So putting myself in a happy place and I can totally make it up or it can be just a happy memory. I've been listening to a lady named Bria Katrine, and I will link her down below in the description box. And she has healed uh, like over 90 symptoms through brain retraining. And she has a different approach. I, I have been doing a Christian program. There, most are not, most are very just science focused but you'll find a couple that um, are focused on actually renewing your mind and uh, your body through uh, focusing on God. And so the Christian program I've done, it's had you read your Bible more and um, you know memorize scripture and things like that. But Bria Katrine, she actually has her own program that she does, but she'll put visualizations online as well. She really focuses on entering into emotion because emotion in your visualizations, because emotion is what really gets to the part of the brain, the healing part where you start to um, produce those good hormones, the healing hormones. And so that's been key for me lately is to try to enter into emotion more um, in my visualizations. So um, actually crying or laughing in my visualizations You'll notice if you look at hers, she often will just cry and laugh. And it's an attempt to actually get to that place of emotion because more than speaking, your brain can start to heal through emotion, through good emotion. It just goes to a deeper part of the brain. And something else she does that's been uh, impacting what I do is making it your visualizations with God and um, just being stroked, your hair stroked by God and talking to him. And so reading your Bible, this is what I've been doing. I've been reading my Bible and then it's basically prayer. Um, I think probably as God meant it to be and just um, trying to enter into the emotion of it and putting yourself in that spot of God, you are so good. And, and another um, concept that I've been implementing that's been different with my visualizations and I'm not sure if I'm going to actually be doing I probably will eventually once I get more confident but be doing visualizations like I'm talking about it's it's just too awkward for me to cry and laugh in front of a video it just seems so personal but Bria does it 
but um, there's another lady on YouTube that I've been watching. She's a therapist of some sort, and she has great video series. She has playlists on trauma and how to heal from trauma. And I've been keeping a notebook lately. If you've seen my last video, um, I've been journaling and trying to remember just different things about my past. Like, why do I feel like I have a, a burden? And I know there's something there, but because of disassociation, I just can't even remember a lot of it. And just needing to work through a lot of hard things. And she, this lady on YouTube has given me some tools and she has a video on actually nightmares and how to fix nightmares. And a lot of times, especially if they're recurring on the same subject, and a lot of times that is your body attempting to process some hard event that you never got to process. And, but it gets, it gets so intense that your body jerks awake at the same time every time. And so you never get to finish processing that. So she suggests processing it during the day. So basically what I've been doing, journaling and thinking through the events. And another technique, and this is how I've, something I've been implementing in my visualizations, is taking that hard thing and turning it for good. Changing the story. You can do whatever you want. It's your imagination. And I, I really can't go into details of my own life, but just making it the hard emotion that you feel. If you had a hard time with your parents, just enter into a visualization where you're having a great time and they are saying everything you wish they would say. And that is so easy for me to enter into emotion and good hormones and to really all the feels you know, when you are changing a hard situation, something you have guilt about, maybe you have guilt about your children, and it's usually unfounded, but even if it is founded, all those things, just change it for good. That is what God does in real life. He is using everything for good. And so change these situations for good. If you're struggling with your husband, um, just envision him saying the things that you need to hear and then change it over to your heavenly father or your heavenly husband or whatever, you know, and just stroking your hair and giving you exactly what you need. And she actually did a visualization, uh, Bri sorry, Bria did a visualization. It was along these same lines of doing something from your past and then changing it for good. And um, she said, she started the visualization. She said, I'm six years old and something in me just started crying. So I can't remember, you know, what's going on. I just can't remember. Like, what is it about when I was six years old? And then she started explaining, uh, going through and how she's on her banana bike and she was waiting for her daddy to come out and teach her how to ride and just all that. And it was just so touching to me. Like it touched a part of me that hurt and that just wanted to be filled up with love. So that's what I've been doing lately. And it, it feels healing to me, and I really appreciate what these women have done just to give me some tools to work with. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll put the links in the description box. I hope they're helpful to you. Um, I think the visualizations that I've been doing before are helpful in their own right, but I don't think they probably produce quite as much healing as when you actually are trying to enter in with big emotions. So I've been crying a lot more lately. <laughs> an older lady at Bible study last night said, how are you? You look tired. <laughs> I've been crying on the way to Bible study, but it was a good crying. You know, I was thinking it, it's basically praying. I find that I'm just praying to God and entering in with him a lot more. Uh, now that I'm trying to enter into emotion, I feel like I've shut off a lot of emotion. So for me, this is actually quite odd. I'm not a bubbly emotional person at all. And um, I think I've shut off a lot of my emotion throughout the years. And so I, I've longed to open up in that way. So for me, it's very healing. And, you know, gr I was thinking growing up, I went to a very charismatic um, seek the Holy Spirit in church. That's the main reason you're there. Apart, you know, maybe he'll do a sermon, but you're there for the music to be overtaken by the Holy Spirit. That's what I grew up in and um, I got out of that and I'm very much not that now in my denomination and I almost long for a touch of that again. Like 
there's got to be a balance, I think. <laughs> and so it's, that's where I am right now. And I just do feel like it's healing and it's really good for me. And it's, I actually look forward to my visualization times. Call it visualization. But you know, I'm, even right now, see, I, I keep looking down. I have my Bible with me. And I read my portion of Bible in the morning and then I have a set time of prayer visualization. It's just me entering in with God and trying to get the emotion of what he's getting across what he's trying to say to me, but through emotion, through getting to the deeper part of my brain. So uh, that might be pretty weird for some of you, especially if you um, are on the no emotion side of the Christian spectrum or just in general. But that's where I've been. See you next time.